Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Dominions 4. And after that battle at Nashin, uh, we pretty much lost our entire army. We have 22 wounded guys right here, which I, I really just uh, kind of throw these into the same groups. They're basically fodder as far as I'm concerned at this point. Um, something like that. But you can see Ribby has 24 units, Takeda has 1, and then we got 29 um, priests at this point. Of course, we can't boost our defenses. I realize that that's due to the fact that there is no population here because of stupid Lemuria. Uh, that is brutal. I, I'm, I'm curious. I'm going to watch this province here, Ine Umrol. I don't know if... I assume this will go up in population. Well, I don't know, because there's enemy dominion there. So, I don't know. It's iffy. But uh, I'm curious if it recovers from zero or not. So I'm going to watch that closely each turn. Uh, but we got... Uh, moving up through the water provinces as usual. Hopefully we'll have that taken out. Look, there's 50 people here in blue beauty to serve, to, uh, <laughs> to save from the undead menace. Uh, and then down here, at uh, two more turns, and we'll have two full armies moving out of this province here so we can head south into Gath and um, still sieging this castle here with Relie. So that's pretty much it. I'm building reinforcements for our uh, Ribby and Takeda force over here. And actually... Uh, well, Takeda, we have the, uh, per your request, uh, we have some equipment here. I don't know if this crown of command is a very good choice, though, uh, since you'll be going into melee. So I might need to change that. We're building some marble armor and a dancing shield. So we'll see how that goes. Fire resistant, I didn't realize. Um, but we'll get them in the front lines, see how he goes. I'm pretty excited about that. I, I really uh, kind of like the melee heroes, so... We'll find out. And of course, um, Lawrence had suggested trying to do that with a uh, Ryu Jin, which I would like to do as well. Uh, so hopefully we'll, we'll get there eventually. Um, but uh, let's see what happens with this turn. Here we go. In case you're wondering, at the top of the screen you see the, uh, the border for the game. So I tried to do that um, a few episodes ago. I tried to do a segment where I used my capture card to record the video. It just makes it immensely easier to record and uh, to get the footage into a, a format that I can put on YouTube. So uh, hopefully that's not too annoying. Um, unfortunately, you can't get rid of that because there's no borderless option for Dominions 4. You're also seeing these green lines. I don't know why that happens. Um, I saw that in Dark Souls as well on occasion. So um, hopefully that's not too annoying. If it, if it persists, especially on like battle scenes and stuff like that, I'll probably just not use the card at all. But uh, for now, I'm, I'm just gonna just gonna deal with it. Here's voice of time at no luck. Wow, it's failing me this this time. I did Tomaturgy one more level because I did see. I'm kind of curious about this spell. Um, global. I know I saw it here. Huh? Where did it go? Did I look? In the, did I do the wrong one? I did. I meant enchantment. Damn it. Um, this one I believe is kind of like scrying. Only it looks like it's global. So I want to get that. Let's go ahead and switch there. Okay, the green line is annoying me a little bit. Uh, I gotta figure out why it's doing that. Battles in the arena. Let's see who wins between Tian Chi and Satis. I, I didn't feel like I had anybody really great for this. So we got the prophet. And what we got over here? Also a prophet. So two prophets going. The smites back and forth. Oh my God! The guy on the left. The TNC guy didn't even get touched. Hmm. Golden sandals, whatever that is. Found some death gems. Plus one death. That's unfortunate. Anywhere where we're getting more death is bad news to me. And we have breached the Black Gorge, so we'll be going in this turn, I think. Hopefully we can break that. I'm a little concerned because we don't have great troops down there, but we'll see. Alright, not much to say here. Just that we are storming the castle down here. Again, a little concerned about that. Uh, got some troops building over here. So I'll have a, I'll have a force in this province of Saitika as well. I think when we launch our attack into Gath, I'll probably swing and grab this one. And from the north, grab this one. So again, last time I saw, Gath was all down through here. Just in kind of like a single line of provinces uh, with Pangaea. Uh, bordering them on the on the left side there. So I'm thinking we could maybe do some work, get some some land there. I oh got it. It just worries me so much seeing TNCI. That long border scares me. 
really scares me. So uh, I'm waiting for more reinforcements to arrive here in this province of Blue Beauty. Uh, we got um, some more mermen, some more merfolk, whatever they're called, uh, coming over. So hopefully that will uh, kind of help push the push the uh, edge there. The other nice thing about coming from here is I'm going to be able to come in from the south on Relie. And I think that eh, we're, we got some forces here, not obviously not a lot. Um, but I can move in from the south as well, and those two forces can come together, hopefully. Actually, what I ought to do is probably... Let's see. That guy... Well, you know what? I don't have any water gems. I'm having a really, really hard time finding water gems. We, You know, my plan, of course, was to make water bracelets and then make robes of the sea, but I just don't have... Just don't have the uh, gems to get it done, unfortunately. I, it's, it's, it kind of stinks, but... Uh, that's kind of uh, that's kind of how the game rolls sometimes. You just uh, don't know what you're gonna get. So uh, let's see. I thought I had some more scouts over here. Here we go. Trying to get that some sight into these lands, kind of get an idea of who's strong. Like I said before, I think Satis is probably probably collapsing from the looks of it. Let's see. Yeah. So they got a couple over here. So maybe they fill in this area in the center. I'm not sure. TNGI definitely seems like it's kind of taken over, so that's that's kind of scary to me. And I think Pangea must be really strong. That's that's my guess. I think those are the top contenders. And of course Lemuria uh, seems strong, but I I don't know. They definitely have lost land. And then of course there's not much reason to invade them since you don't get anything for it. So all right, let's see what happens. I found it pretty funny that the tip of the turn was that a printed manual for Dominions 4 makes the game extra enjoyable. I find that hilarious if you don't know, the manual is like 395 pages. So you go out and buy a ream of paper and uh, use it all on the manual, I guess. <laughs> That's, uh, I don't know. That seems a little, uh, uh, a little sketchy. I, I can't imagine that's better than a PDF. Let's see, I don't know what to do with uh, with our research now, I, I get when I get to like level four ish. That's where I'm really kind of clueless on the spells. I feel like I want to lean towards um, global spells just to get those going, but at the same time, I, I don't know a lot of them too well. So we'll get that Eyes of the God up once Seat soon returns, and then from there, I don't know. So if you have suggestions, please let me know. I would love to hear them. So. Uh, for now, maybe I'll just spread it out. I don't know. It seems better to just kind of put it all in one basket, so to speak. Um, let's just put it... We'll just put it in evocation. I would like to see some more battlefield um, magic here. There's Seatsun. He's back. So it only took two turns. Little battle between Satis and Tian Chiai. And here's our siege. Boy, does this make me nervous. This is Ryutaro. He's our... Uh, our hero that came in. Oh, they have no forces here. I think we're going to win this. I, I'm not sure. I can't guarantee anything, but it, it looks good to me. And we are already to the leaders. You dead? You dead? Oh, he's running. Wow, look at that. It took a lot of damage. That's uh, pretty surprising. Alright, we got some blood slaves, and we got... Plus tw we got hit by a hurricane. Those bastards. Huh. Yeah, I guess so. I was thinking, I, I was going to say hurricanes only for coastal provinces, but I guess technically that is coastal, so. Unfortunate. But here we go. We got this uh, force right here. And it is moving out. 240 strong. Interesting. This, um, this guy's squad, he actually must have a... Even just sitting around increases your leadership. Number of stars indicate the experience, because he was only at 120 last turn. Well, that's good, because I got five squads over here. That actually is perfect. There we go. And let's set these cavalry. Boy, you know what I would like to do? Um, they're at plus three morale already, so, but uh, I, I think I'm willing to take that one morale hit to split these into two. I, I think that that's better. Uh, we will hold and attack the rearmost enemies. Hopefully that will help us. I, I was I was really looking at our troops and thinking we need something to uh, we need a we need a fast moving force of some sort. So hopefully those uh, cavalry will will help out here. 
Let's see, and we got a level 4 Nature Mage, a level 4 Earth Mage, two level 4 Earth Mages, actually. Alright, and I wanted to give away Sunakage's equipment. You know what? There's our helmet. We'll, we'll put that in the laboratory for uh, Takeda. And that's why I had Montaro, now that I think about it. He's gonna... We'll see if he can do some work um, in melee, too. So, he's gonna go with him. Hell, let's just take all these casters. Th those other two aren't very great, but... Alright, Montaro. Let's see. You know what? Let's do this. Let's go like this. And um, we'll put him right, right in the middle of that group. So he'll hold, hold, and then attack rear. So he'll go with him. That might work. Give him a little bit of a... Uh, give him a shield, a meat shield, so to speak. And... Let's see, let's check out this right here. 153 resources, so... Significantly better than the other... Um, water castle that I have. Wow, we can actually make some forces here. Which is nice. Really nice. Especially since... Okay, these are aquatic, so they aren't going to be very useful here, but these guys... These guys are really nice. Interesting. Okay, I think we can do some work here. I like it. Alright, so I'm going to move out. I'm going to take this province once and for all from, uh, from this independent force. There's only 20 Ictiads there, so we should be good. Forgot to move this over. Let's see. Take that priest out. Get the temple up. Um... So I think we should be fine there. We got those big shark warriors and some of those shrimp soldiers or whatever the heck they're called. So we should be good there. Um, Yukio is currently running around picking up troops to reinforce uh, reinforce Nashen up here. Uh, we do have a full equipment here now for Takeda. So he's got the vine shield, which I'm, I'm really coming to like. I, that's kind of nice, I think. Um, the firebrand, figured that would be really good against undead. Horned Helmet gives him an extra attack. I, that's probably kind of worthless now that I think about it. Um, what I should look to give him is that uh, that helmet that casts Lightning Bolt. That might be a good call. Let me know if uh, let me know what you think about that. Marble Armor gives you some Stone Skin. He's got the uh, Burning Pearl for a little bit of attack bonus, and then Dancing Shield to help him block attacks. And then of course Ray Ribby still uh, here with the Herald Lance. And again, if you prefer another setup, let me know. Uh, be happy to accommodate, so. Uh, oh, there's some Gath. So they are at least that far south. So that's good to know. Uh, we'll be moving into their territory here in two turns. Looks like they are at war with Pangaea, because Pangaea just took this province away. So hopefully they don't take this one, or else it's going to cut me off, which would be unfortunate. Um, and I think I... You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pump these guys. I think that that will be kind of nice. Crab Generals are amphibious, so... Um, hopefully in the next few turns we can wipe out Relier. I think that they're, I really think they're confined to these water provinces, so let's see what happens. Alright, so there goes the Eyes of God. We'll take a look and see what kind of effects that has. It, worm friend. Okay, uh, it, I guess this is supposed to A, dispel any magical spells like illusions and things like that. I would think kind of like uh, with Vanheim having glamour, anyone in our dominion will be dispelled. Um, it's also supposed to provide... Uh, let's see if we can find a province, an enemy province with some of our dominion. Oh yeah, wow, okay. Huh. I can't believe I, I didn't really notice that at first. So now we have completely revealed enemy land. Wow, okay, let's take a look at this. So we got Tian Chi'ai. Actually not as big as I was thinking. Relie, I was correct. Just three provinces there. Four provinces. One castle. Satis is actually still quite a, quite a decent size. So they're, they're still a threat, I would say. Pangaea, definitely the largest, I would say. And Gath, not a lot going on here. So that's definitely... Defi oh, the, it looks like Relier took a land province too. Okay, interesting. Okay, here's the other thing. So we got enemy dominion here. Or we got our dominion, I should say. And here. So it should show us exactly what's in here. 97 enemy units, satyrs, vinemen, harpies, crossbowmen, clockwork soldiers. And they're commanded by Adramon the Pan. That makes me think of Pan's Labyrinth, if you ever saw that movie. All right, we're launching a war. We are doing it. We're going to Gath. I think this is a good, good choice. I think it's going to work out well for us. I can go down here, take some of their provinces, 
Uh, maybe even cross this little land bridge right here. Um, and Lemuria is actually not that strong. So I don't know. Maybe wiping them out isn't entirely out of the question. Let me know what your thoughts are there. Looks like they only have... I'm going to have these water provinces here very soon. Why is this guy a dragon? I do not know. Um, not that I'm complaining. That's kind of awesome. Let's see. We got our temple over here. Apparently I left some troops behind. Okay. That's kind of unfortunate. Because they're not going to do me much good where they're at. Let me make sure that they are not... Oh, what am I doing? Recruit? Yeah. I... Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Well, that's all right. So I'm going to take this water province, this water province from Lemuria. That's going to leave them with, what, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 provinces. That's not bad. And just wiping them out might be worth it, just to get rid of them. Uh, I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'd be interested to find out what, uh, what people think there. So, um, That's about it, right? I think we're good to go. I like that spell, Eyes of God. Pretty nice. Look at this force over here. That's pretty scary. 230 units. All right, let's hit it and see what happens. So I just realized that that was... I only looked at the first message on that whole damn thing. So I missed a whole bunch of stuff. I'm kind of curious. Uh, we did we did take this province, it looks like. Let's see. It didn't lose much either from the looks of it. So that's good. Uh, yeah, I totally... I clicked the first one and then I forgot to... Uh, Forgot to go back, so I missed my whole turn. That was pretty dumb. And now that I have Eyes of God, I guess I'm actually seeing... Am I seeing all the battles? Doesn't look like it. That can't be every battle. Here we go. Let's check this out. Attacking Gath for the first time. Look at that force. Looks pretty good. I wish our... What is this guy? Good lord. They are giants, so I guess when I saw them, I thought is I thought maybe that was their god or something, but I kind of doubt it. Um, I wish we had this many forces up by Ribby and Takeda right now, but it's going to be a while before we can recover over there. Especially since the capsule they just took doesn't produce anything at all. Which kind of sucks. Alright, let's bring this big guy down before he does any damage. Let's check these out. Only one attack. 17 in defense, though. Pretty good. Breath of the Dragon coming down. That is probably our nature mage. I can't remember what I said. Alright, giant gets hacked up. I like these spells. Like this, uh, I, I missed what this one is. Holding this uh, unit in place. But I do like those. Um, kind of slows down the... Uh, Incoming units, I guess. Alright, kill this big guy for me. What is this guy, anyway? Two fire, two blood. Man, does blood scare me. What's this effect here? Fire shield, 8 AP damage. He's gonna get hacked up by a bunch of samurai, though. There we go. Okay, success. Oh, okay. We have a uh, bump here, it looks like. So Pangea moved in after us. And they are going to get murdered. Oh my god. What are you guys doing? Bad luck for you, Harpies. Okay. Nothing too scary there. Centaur Cataphracts. Probably one of their better units. 20 protection. 20 hit points. What about these uh, Snipers? 14 in precision. With a crossbow. Oh my god. That's pretty scary. Yes, please do shoot that. Wow, that's like... That's the best ranged unit I've seen yet, I would say. I'm curious about it. Dear God, Maws of the Earth. I kind of missed that. That was awesome, though. Um, I'm wondering about that. Spell Stellar Cascades. For some reason, I was thinking that was... Um, I was thinking that was a... Undead... I didn't think that hurt living things. I, I'm probably wrong, but... Cavalry coming in. Let's see what they can do. I think, it'll, I think they're going to win this, this battle. Okay, I, they got around the back. That's what I was looking for. It t they did get blocked up a little bit, but uh, that wasn't bad. Not bad at all. Gath and uh, 
Pangea. Gath won that one. Here's a battle in... Oh, okay, here's our naval battle, so to speak. It said there were no troops here, but they probably have province defenses. That's not too bad. This should be okay. So our Ryujin turned into a dragon. That worries me because he's going to fly over there. I didn't set him to do that. So I'm curious. I know that I had one that was wounded. So maybe... Maybe being wounded, they automatically do that. I think I've heard that that recovers from afflictions. Let me know on that if you if you if you know for sure. I'm not certain. That guys are doing nothing for us. Water strike, a couple, little bit of damage there. Nothing great. One thing I will say about water battles is it's kind of like everybody's created equally, you know, pretty much relying on these uh, Tritons and Ictiads for the most part, except for Lemuria, they're undead, but there isn't a, real, a whole lot of diversity of units, which is kind of, kind of makes it interesting compared to the land battles. And here we go, with the undead. We really need, um some spells to land right here. Casting Liquid Body. What the hell? Yep, and these Hastatas have spears, so they don't incur any penalties fighting underwater. Though we're, we're also using spears, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, any piercing weapons... Ooh, nice shot there from the geyser. Any piercing weapons are ideal when you're fighting underwater, as I understand it. Right, routing Triton Guard. That's unfortunate. Units going around the back. There's the route. Okay. Took a little longer than I was hoping, but... Lemuria is tough, man. Wow. I kind of wonder if I could play even on a harder difficulty using Lemuria. Effigy of War Gained. Hmm. What the heck is that? Shamans of the Wool Tribes are known to craft effigies from wood and the bones of beasts and fallen enemies. These effigies project the memories of the bones and are surrounded by the spirits of the dead. Spectral beasts and warriors appear in the vicinity of the army fooling scouts and spies that observe the army. An army with an effigy will appear to be 50 units larger than it actually is. Huh. I don't. I wonder if that has any use against the AI. I, I feel like it would be really useful against a human player. But, um... I don't know. I, I feel like it probably doesn't do anything against, um... against the AI. And our scout's getting murdered. Unfortunately. Unfortunate deaths. So if things looking pretty good. I'm going to call it an episode here. You can see right now that we have three more um, Relier provinces to take. Four more. We keep missing this castle here. So we're in really good shape there. I don't think I can move into this province um, from here. So I'm going to bump this defense up before I forget. I think that'll hold. Um... Coming in from the south, so we can hit Lemuria's last water province. And if I can join these two forces, I think we can take over here. It's unfortunate that Relier doesn't have this land province, because I could... Well, I guess I wouldn't be able to do that. I was going to say I could come over from this castle and and, uh, and move in also. But um, unfortunately, can't do that. Can't go down there either, unfortunately. Lots of unfortunate situations here, but look at look at Lemuria. They're they're really getting hit from all sides, from what it looks like. Uh, I think they lost at least another province here, if I'm not mistaken. Four, six, eight, ten, eleven. No, it's still eleven. So I don't know. I I'm kind of thinking that I should wipe them out. Between Satis and I, I'm assuming Gath fighting them and myself, it shouldn't be that bad. You can see their forces are really low. I could move north from here and northeast with Ribby and Takeda and wipe them out. And then that will give me another front with, with Gath. Of course, they have 200 soldiers here, so I'm kind of glad that we have that buffer there. Um, but that's where we're at. Let me know. What do you think about research? What direction should we go? 
uh, how we looking over here on forces? I feel like I have some good sized armies, which I wasn't very good about keeping up with um, with Vanheim. So I think I'm doing all right there, though I'm sure I do have a pretty big treasury and a 2100 gap between upkeep and total income. So I am bringing in a lot of money, um, though I am still recruiting a lot of forces. So uh, I'm fine with leaving the Satis and Pangea front uh, closed at this point and T and Chi. Uh, just because, I don't know, they, they all three of those scare me a little bit. But um, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment below, and I will see you in the next episode.